Hi everybody, it is March the 8th and today was a really nice day. Very tiring though. I am so tired from this weekend. I cannot wait to go back to work so that I can rest for a little bit. But today was the final uh, game or games for the uh, high school league bowling in our in our district and uh and all the districts and both of my sons are on the team even though one's an eighth grader one's a junior and uh it's funny because there were two teams going to do after going after, uh against each other in the finals and they were both from my arm um, from our school and um and so we knew we were going to win one way or another but was it our team or the other team and last year my son, who was a junior or a sophomore at that team, they actually won the uh, high school division, the high school league last year. And so today it was just like, oh, we totally, that totally blew. It was really, the other team had a really good game. It's like, whoa, how do you compete with that? And they took most of the points. And then we took most of the points in the second game. And, you know, it was like we were winning 11 points to nine overall. And then we came back in the third game and Oh, <laughs> sorry. It was just very exciting. Um, and so my son's team, uh, they took the, the title again, a two-peat. Um, all of this to say, you know, I would never hope that I pray to God to have other sweet little high school kids who are actually in our high school to gutter or to split or anything like that. But, um, I do pray. I pray for, you know, my kids to succeed. I pray for uh, them to do well. I pray for their, their safety and health and that they don't get hurt and that, you know, people feel like a team and they feel connected and all those things. And uh, I just wondered, you know, how God, you know, felt about like that too. So you may remember I am in the Psalms right now. That's kind of at the whole beginning of my journey from January the 1st. Uh, he told me as I started this to go through the Psalms and it has been fantastic. <laughs> but as I started reading today, there was a whole lot I'm reading through about, you know, the vengeance of my enemies and taking down my enemies. And it was a whole lot of God taking down enemies. And I'm like, oh, I hope this is not... <laughs> <laughs> what I have coming up because God is really good about, you know, preparing me for things uh, ahead of time that I don't even know. But whew, I got to uh, Psalm 44, 1 and 2, and this was a little bit more of where I think I was coming from with my prayers. This whole weekend has been, you know, heavy prayer for my kids just for success um, because they've worked hard, not just because I want them to have it, but, you know, I think any parent wants success for their children when they work hard. But as I kind of said with my one son, you know, he just got cut from volleyball and that was a success he didn't get. So even though I pray for it, you know, you realize sometimes God says no. We've talked about that before too. But here's what it said in Psalm 44. One, two. Um, oh God, we have heard with our ears. Our fathers have told us what deeds you did perform in their days, in the in the days of old with your own hand and drove out nations. So if God can drive out nations, I think he could win <laughs> a bowling tournament, you know, and in those contexts, it's a little less miraculous, but impressive all, all the while. And I think God says that, you know, that reminder to he hears prayer and he wants us to pray. And I don't think it's greedy per se, as long as you're willing to hear the answer. Because like I said, you know, today it was a yes. For the other team, it was a no. You know, we've had no's in our recent recent uh, past here. So pray for sure. It brings you closer, you know, getting these things out with God that you want. And uh, that's ultimately what you want. But like any good parent, you know, again, you got to be willing to accept the answer. Because ultimately it's for our good whatever that good may be. Uh, God knows the beginning and the end. So I, I like to try to stick with him on this. So keep praying, uh, keep looking for God every day because it just adds a level of security and comfort uh, to your life. At least I think so.